is the crazy part about this country? What is going on here? I don't understand. I'm so confused. This president decides it's a very good idea that if you have good credit, that you have enough sizable down payment, he's going to raise your interest rates. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you can help those that doesn't have good credit. So Biden is to hike payments for good credit home buyers to subsidize high-risk mortgages. So number one, the government now is involved in free enterprise and capitalism. They're directly affecting currency, uh, uh, the way currency moves between businesses to businesses, economy to economy. I get they have to create policies, but now they're, they're forcing bankers and mortgage companies, investors, to say, hey, Milton, you got good credit. You worked on your money. You got financially illiterate. You raise your credit score above 680. You have a 20% down payment on a house. But Matt down the street, who's just getting out the Marines, he just uh, made a bad choice of uh, picking, picking uh, the wrong marital circumstances mm -hmm. and went through divorce. And marriage. You got to help him out because he can't help himself out. So we're going to charge you an extra point where we're going to give Matt down the street just getting out the Marines and a shot. You, know, you got to help him. You got to help him out, right? What are the downfalls of that? When not so much for for the people doing well for themselves, or even for giving someone an opportunity to even buy a home, but the long term the, the long term uh, perspective of this it costs more money. Matt, Matt gets Matt yeah. gets the home. Matt, after six, seven, eight, nine months, can't afford the home. So what ends up happening there with the house? You know, well, what, what, that's, so what's the benefit? Let's, let's play that out. Yeah. Who, 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 does this really encourage those with good credit? To say, Matt, maybe I need to find more property. Because I might have bought a new house. I might have bought an investment property. But now that I have good credit and I have to pay more interest, maybe I'm, I, may, I may not want to. Yeah. So it's going to cause people to doubt being a real estate investor or hold back because now the mortgage, with, in, in addition to the interest rates being higher, now they got to pay more money. Now they can pay more money on the rising interest. Well, what, what is the uh, Fed meet? May 3rd? May 3rd, the Federal Reserve meets again. They're probably going to raise the interest rates again. So the Federal Reserve raises the interest rates again, and now this goes into play May 1st. You put another point, 1% uh, 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 higher. I, I, can't, I can't see here which uh, – is it 1% or 1.5%? We'll discuss here with uh, our mortgage uh, loan specialist uh, later on today or tomorrow. But you're going to pay another percentage higher just to have good credit to subsidize the one who doesn't. So it's going to cause people to say – I'm just going to chill in my spot or not buy it, all, buy it all, just be a renter. But the flip side is those that couldn't afford and they have a percent less, they, they might be in a position to also buy maybe a condo, maybe a smaller single family mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's also the flip side too as well. So, you know, if, you, if you're going to look at who benefits, it's going to hurt the, be the people with the better credit right. to subsidize the ones that don't have it. And I guess like a, a tip for the people who are struggling with their credit, and it's something that I had to figure out for myself. Like I remember at one time I was probably like at a 520, and that was real, really horrible for me. And I blamed the entire world. I blamed Fannie Mae. I blamed not knowing how to you know pay off certain bills on time. I, I blamed my father for not teaching me certain principles. Right, and it was at that age. And I had to realize that one of the key factors, and I know this is basic kindergarten information for a lot of these people, but one of the key factors being able to pay, being able to pay your, uh, pay your bills on time. Poor credit scores are the results of... Uh, irresponsible financial behavior, mm -hmm. late payments and failing to pay at all. Um, there's no information that talks about a person's gender or skin color or anything along those lines when it comes down to the cre credit score process. It all has to do with the person's behavior. And you need to be able to have yourself in check when it comes down to that and be very mindful on, the, on your spending and be very mindful of what you can and cannot afford. And making sure that even if it is the minimum payment, even if it is a couple extra dollars from the minimum payment, but making sure that you pay your bills on time and you actually pay your bills each and every single month. And if you're not able to afford to pay your bills, again, like Matt said earlier, find a small side hustle, even if it's bartending. I, I know it sounds very obnoxious for me to speak on that in the show, but be able to find something on the weekends to be able to have more money, have more, have more cash flow, pay your bills off, increase your credit score, and open up the doors of opportunity for you, especially if you're in the younger generation. Jordan, let's take a look at this tweet. Uh, this is a tweet out there put out. America is actually the stupidest country in the world. Penalties for having good credit, discounts for having poor credit. Banks are more interested in virtual signaling points than running a financially sound business. Yay, America. Virtual signal your way to irrelevance. So that's it. So there's a 1% surcharge for those with 740 or higher credit score that put, down, put a 15 to 20% down payment. By the 1% could be significantly higher. Yeah. You know, people, I mean, uh, 
I paid uh, I paid sixty thousand dollars in the last mortgage I did to buy down the rate. And by the way, I didn't buy down the rate. I had the seller buy it down for me. So I paid sixty thousand dollars to buy down a rate just to have a rate buy down strategy when, when purchasing the house. And for those six, seven, nine or lower, we'll have a discount of one point seven five, almost two percent. They'll have a less of an interest rate on a lower credit score if they put five percent down or less. So the craziness here is this. What, what, what did we learn during the 07, 08, 09 mortgage crisis? Is that when you put more of a down payment into your house versus no down payment in your house, Jordan, guess what happened? If, if you put more down payment into your house, guess what you'll likely do with the maintenance and the stewardship of that house if you put more into it? What do you think you want to do? Take care of it more. Of course yeah, you want to take care of it. Care of it. Yeah. You want to take care of your house. You want to take care of your sidewalk. You want to take care of your neighborhood because you're invested into it. The less you are invested into it, you don't really care. That's why all these people in 07, 08, 09, they call them ninja loans. No income, no job, approved. <laughs> and I, yeah. and I, and, and, and I, and no income, no job, approved. Ninja. Ninja. Right? And so people, the people that go to, okay, you got a pulse. Zero down payment. Walk right and you got their credit score. And what happened in 07, 08, 09? They were packaged up in mortgage-backed securities, sold in the stock market. They started defaulting. Dr. Michael Burry decided to take a look at what the deep dive into what these mortgage-backed securities are packaged about, F- found a problem, found a niche, bought some credit default swaps, covered his butt because he thinks these mortgages are going to go back. I'm like, nobody ever doesn't pay their mortgage. Nobody ever is not going to do that. Well, we found in 07, 08, 09, when these interest rates pop, pop back up, bam, they stopped paying the mortgage. Moved back in with her son, moved mm-hmm. back with a family member, gave yeah. back the keys to the house. So this is, this is not good for the country, in my estimation. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.